birthday and we're having the next page page seven talking about employers and co to face off over pay increment Puss, is, is is it really a face off of course it, it, it has always been a face off yeah. and it will remain so because yeah. employers will always want to exploit their workers mm -hmm. by paying them meager salaries and also uh, having these workers to work for longer hours yeah. than uh, prescribed by the law mm -hmm. and obviously co to on the other side or trade unions on the other side will always want to uh, to defend their workers against exploitation by their employers so the clash between uh, unions and employers will always be there. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, uh, um, an FKA Chief Executive Officer Jackie, Jacqueline Mugo cautioned KOTU against turning Labor Day celebration into platforms to call for sporadic wage demands. What do you think about these quotations? Is it sporadic? But we have been told in the other story that this has actually increased. So is it sporadic or is it just warranted that a pay increment should be granted? Away, uh, thanks. Away from even the increment. Yes. Uh, the thing is now also getting in the housing levy and, yeah. and where the, the thinking, the FKA thinks the, the thinking is that uh, the government is using court to, 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 to gain <laughs> a way of, of finding a way of having the one point. So right. it's also moving away from now the politics, mm -hmm. I mean uh, from the labor related issues to politics. To politics. And, 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 and obviously <coughs> uh, the issue of the housing mm -hmm. levy has huge of course, yeah, implications, impl yeah, implications. Uh, for both employers. Yeah. So, so that's why, and employers are unwilling mm -hmm. <laughs> always to, to pay more, yeah. either because the environment is hard, mm -hmm. but generally they're capitalists. So, mm -hmm. are, so anything that would make them spend more. Yeah. always uh, make them get that and, and become hostile. And so, hostile. So, but, but you look at it this way, because um, if you look at the inflation right now, uh, last month it was at around 4.3%, uh, those are the government figures, but uh, our figures has got to, yeah. Yeah, our figures has got to, and reality, actually those figures are double, we're talking about oh, an inflation that's around 8%, so inflation mm -hmm. is around 8%, consumer price index will also be around that figure, because consumer price index gives us um, the cost of uh, goods in yeah. a supermarket. If mm -hmm. you are to go to a supermarket and have a basket, and in that basket you put in bread, you put in milk, you put in sugar, then you can calculate the amount of money you are required to pay. Okay. You'll realize that actually that amount of money has gone up compared maybe to three or uh, four, four, four months ago. Mm -hmm. So that means that this money must come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the only source of revenue for workers is salaries, because exactly. that is where workers uh, actually spend most of their time, eight hours, not less than eight hours a day, working for the employer so mm. it means that his employer who is supposed to cushion the workers from this high cost of living mm -hmm. and if you look at most of these employers, most of them are making uh, 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 profits in billions of Kenyan <laughs> shillings yeah. then instead of sharing this uh, uh, profit because workers also contribute the, yeah. Yeah, because workers Small also contribute worker. to the generation of that uh, uh, profit that actually are in billions of Kenyan shillings employer want this money to, to go and invest it elsewhere mm -hmm. so it's a matter of striking a balance of also yes. taking into consideration yeah. the interest of the worker by increasing their salary so you cushion them against high cost of living okay